once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Mage showcases and today we have the Eldmosa Salvager by Argo Contar. So this is quite an interesting design for a Salvager, a very organic looking shape with some pretty neat features and some fantastic detailing. And as you can see there's also some pretty cool uh, glyphy type of details uh, with the, the blue there as well, which cover the entirety of the hull. Real quick we'll First, take a look at the front of the ship. You've got a uh, blue front end. Uh, this is presumably where the salvage beams come out, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, a massive window up here that is partially covered by this this structure, which is just fantastic. It's a great view, uh, nice detail, and it makes that window really pop out as a nice feature from the interior as well as the exterior, which is nice. Now one thing that was mentioned on the uh, the download page was that there are these like floating magnetic things or something like that that are attached to the hull. And I was expecting them to be rails, but they're not. And I have to say, if the builder does watch this, uh, if they don't somehow miss my if they miss my review somehow, I highly suggest that you take these structures and you attach them via rails because it would be so worth it. These things are so cool, and it would be pretty awesome to be able to actually activate them and have them propel out, because it looks like, for the most part, every single one of them fits into its uh, appropriate slot almost f perfectly flush. Uh, we have this entire engine section up here with uh, a little fan thing down there, and uh, it too is connected via these bits out here. So. Having that be able to actually extend and retract would be amazing, and it, it lines up quite nicely, it seems. I mean, you can see on the right there, it bulges out, and over here it kind of goes in, recesses. Awesome stuff. Uh, we've got some lava engines with a pretty neat little uh, design there with the, the tetras, of course. And uh, there's some additional depth on that larger engine up top, which is quite nice. We have a blue, uh, what appears to be, jump drive section. I don't actually know if that's where the jump drives are, but that's what I would assume. Uh, don't take my word for it though, it's entirely up to the builder as to what the hell that is, but it looks kind of like uh, where the jump drive would be. That being said, there's these blue crystals all over the hull in other locations, so maybe I'm just totally wrong on that. <laughs> We've got a lot of layering on the bottom, and it kind of gives it almost a, a mechanical alien feel, which is quite nice. Uh, I do like that as well. And uh, I like the idea of adding white and blue armor plates to the top of this gray hull. Uh, it's definitely a style that suits Star Maid quite a lot. Up here we have another one of these extractable, extractable? Retractable structures. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe, I don't know, a sensor pod. Who knows? It could be anything. But it looks cool as balls. Uh, I would so love to see those be able to move around, though. That's that's what that's the only thing I have to say about this is put in the effort to get those to actually move using the rail system, and I think you'd have a solid ship. Now, of course, this is a salvager. We'll take a look at the interior. There's no gravity here. That's something else to think about, and I think I'll throw down my own gravity real quick, just to make this a simple walk around. Here is the core directly next to the. Uh, the doors here, the airlocks, uh, to the outside. We can come down here and we have some chairs, and this is uh, the kitchen for this this section of the ship. The uh, walls are a bit plain, maybe, you know, spruce up the interior a little bit, it wouldn't hurt. Although there is some depth and whatnot, definitely try using a uh, regular hull inside, or maybe even advanced hull, and uh, throw in some more detail pieces like fans and stuff, or what have you. Just to, just to give it a bit more personality, I suppose. Down here we have, oh my, some sort of server room underneath the bridge, which is pretty cool, actually. I like this little tucked away section of the ship. You can have uh, secret meetings down there or something. It's not really a big enough ship to warrant secret meetings, but you get the idea. We have the jump drive here, it seems, and uh, a chair looking out. Quite nice. Quite nice indeed. And what's back here? Oh, this is uh, the crew quarters. Or medical. Could be either. Probably medical. 
Although, on a ship this small, it doesn't really need a dedicated medical station, but it, I haven't come across actual crew quarters yet, so I'm assuming that's what that is. Let's uh, jump inside, uh, and I'll get rid of my block here, so that does not affect the stats that you are about to see in the lower left. Uh, there they are. Now, of course, this is a salvager, so I will be testing it on an asteroid. We have one... One camera. That's it. We only have one camera. Okay. Uh, these are all the weapons systems and other systems on the ship, and if we shoot this thing, we can see it is salvaging. Quite powerful when concentrated. Not as powerful when not concentrated. It doesn't seem to be uh, getting this asteroid eaten as quickly as it uh, was a few moments ago, although it kind of kicked in just then. I think I prefer it when it's concentrated. Look how fast that's eating that. It may take a while simply because it's a low area of effect, but there you have it. Oh my. <laughs> it, it lingered, the uh, salvage beam. We also have a jump drive computer, which is a pretty average jump drive uh, charge time. As you can see there, it's actually a bit slow. Not as average as I was expecting. Well, it, it gets, it speeds up and it slows down. It's very strange. Uh, and then we also have uh, some missiles, uh, some swarm missiles for those pesky pirates that may attack you when you are salvaging, of course. So let's, real quick, spawn in. Oh, spawn in. Like three of these and see if it does some significant damage to them. It may not. Uh, we have a lock-on missile to start. We're at 100% shields with this Isanth, and we're firing. Shields are the same. Uh, it seems that the bug that has persisted from last video, where stuff doesn't get damaged, is still around, so hopefully that does not persist. I don't know what causes that, and it's really annoying. We'll throw the uh, other missiles out there as well. It's quite a good number of them as well. Well, and uh, we'll see if it, uh, it manages to do any significant damage to this thing. I mean, that one's shields are still the same. That one's shields have gone down. Has it done any damage to it? I'm not seeing any damage. The shields are down, though, on this one. Maybe that was from the first initial missile. What about this? I'm not seeing any damage on this. Hmm... We'll try it again. We'll try it again. Uh, oh, did the uh, shields already come back up for that? Okay, now we have damaged the shields entirely. Okay, so we've launched those again. A few of them hit there. Those are fairly weak. I will admit, those are fairly weak. And in fact, they may not have done any damage whatsoever. Because a few of them hit directly in the same spot, and it only broke a few blocks. So, fairly weak weapon systems, and I don't know if the lock-on will be doing any damage. We have to wait for that to uh, reload. Yeah, so the only thing I would suggest is maybe making sure there's a gravity module next to your door. Uh, maybe adding some more details to the interior. Otherwise, the coolest part about this ship is the overall shape and these, uh, these connected bits. Definitely worth it. To try and get those railed up uh, and I suggest that to the builder of course awesome awesome let's see if this uh, lock-on does anything okay that did a little bit more damage and that's uh, that's nice look at that oh yeah actually that went right through and did quite a bit quite a bit of damage awesome so uh, let's line this up let's get all cinematic with our exit here. That was the Eldmosa Salvager by Argo Contar. So, check out the description below for a link to the download page where you can leave a review for the builder and rate it with uh, X out of 5 stars or whatever uh, suits your fancy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you all next time.
actually covered by this this structure, which is just fantastic. It's a great view, uh, nice detail, and it makes that window really pop out as a nice feature from the interior. Cool, uh, glyphy type of details uh, with the, the blue there as well, which cover the entirety of the hull. Real quick, we'll first take a look at the front of Argo Contar. So this is quite an interesting design for a salvager, a very organic looking shape with some pretty neat features and some fantastic detailing. And as you can see, there's also some pretty cool... Hello once again, YouTube. Chris the Nightbringer here, bringing you some Star Mage showcases. And today we have the Eldmosa Salvager by the ship. We've got a blue front end. Uh, this is presumably where the salvage beams come out, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, a massive window up here that is partially... 